getting people to participate is always a roadblock to making a learning circle happen because people are scared to ask questions. People, um, people have a tough time letting go of, of the learning format that they know. But um, making sure that they're as comfortable as possible to talk to you one-on-one -on -one and making sure you have a relationship with your learners, like introductions are really important on the first day, making sure that you all know who each other are. And then in turn, they'll feel more comfortable to ask questions and be a part of the learning circle. Uh, I think that current events are a great uh, prompt to uh, any downtime in conversation at the learning circle. So if there's something in the news that uh, the participant may have heard, if there is a question of, of a word maybe, or uh, something as simple as the calendar, the holiday, the seasons, anything that uh, would be small talk can easily be brought into um, a, a discussion that can can uh, be moved on or that can extend further into a, a, a stronger discussion. Say something dumb <laughs> <laughs> or something that you, you might think somebody may have said something that has caused the silence and everybody's either trying to figure out how to respond or maybe you've just hit that seven minute mark um, and just have a core set of little questions that you might have pre-prepared that can spark something. Um, asking folks about their opinion is always, um, you know, let them editorialize for a few minutes because they might have noticed something that's interesting. Um, and they're just not thinking how they can parlay that. Having done a number of small group um, and larger group programs, um, sometimes giving that individual a little bit of one-on-one -on -one attention beforehand or after the program and actually knowing who your participants are, not just treating them as if they're somebody who's coming into your facility to partake of a program, but treating them as if they are someone that you want to know better and that will engage with the material at the level that they're comfortable engaging. And if you know somebody might just be a listener, it's not because they're disengaged, but that is just the way that they learn or they might have something very salient to say but they won't say it in front of the entire group. You might reserve um, some time afterwards to contact them by email or um, a different way. Um, we all use telephones in very different ways than before, so having maybe um, a discussion board afterwards or having um, a group chat of some sort through uh, Facebook or WhatsApp. or There are different ways that people can express themselves without it being verbal constantly.